Uh, hi, I'm Kevin Laren with Architecture from Andy, Iowa, and uh, we're here because we have to be here. Uh, when Cameron Sinclair visited us, he said that uh, if we couldn't take a road trip up to Minneapolis and do solutions, we should just give up. So uh, we thought he meant that in a good way, uh, and he, he believed we should be here. So we have uh, Bob, Brian, Keeley, and Steve uh, to help me out in presenting um, our ideas. We uh, put together a mission statement. We just got started in the fall of 2006. Uh, part of our, our goal is to really try to do what, what we know in Iowa and what we can provide in a local sense um, before we take off and do global things. We want to do global things, but we have to start somewhere local. Uh, we, we broke down our approach to do uh, project collaborations, which give everybody a chance to uh, not think top down, but to come up with a project you want to do, bring it to the group, and see if we could get support for it and do it. So we got short-term, mid-term, and long-term projects that we're trying to do. And we're going to give a little presentation on, on just a little overview on each one. So I'm going to hand it off. Keely? Hello. Um, our first project was a recycling project. Um, I noticed doing, doing a project that we had tons of bottles and cans just thrown away every day. And there was no resource for them to recycle them. So we have this five-story atrium. And so we paired that with all the bottles, and we get this conceptual design up in the top left-hand side. That was, that was initial schematic. We kind of thought of this sock idea to act as a container for these bottles and cans. Because we had zero money, we had to be really resourceful for what materials we used. And so we used chicken wire and te um, tensioned it and structured it with bicycle rims that we found. Um, the great thing was that this thing filled up fast. We filled up in, uh, one and a half times. It's 60 feet long. And um, it filled up with over 6,000 bottles and cans. Um, the great thing was a lot of people caught on, and other programs started within the campus and it raised awareness. Um, I submitted our sound clip of the uh, bottles and cans dropping down the tube to NPR's sound clip feature. And they had us on air on January 9th. And so this was the narrative, and this is the sound clip. Um, so it was pretty cool describing the story of, of how the sock started. Um, so that was kind of a, a good publicity. And as we were taking the cans out, we had 25 um, 50 gallon bags and we had kind of like a fire line going out the building. So we just created like a big scene and everyone was drawn to the atrium and we had all these people watching and it was great. So we had a lot of publicity and we, we kind of created a racket, which is exactly what we wanted to do. So this was kind of a cool image of all these people working together. And I'll turn it off to the, the Strapil guys. All right, the straw bale was uh, really our second hands-on project uh, after the success of the recycling sack. And um, the, <laughs> the recycling sack was amazing because of, with the zero budget, how many thousands of people we impacted. And so this was kind of getting out into the community and also starting to bring in some of these people that we impacted, uh, letting them know that we have this group here and we're willing to help them and we want, we want to get in on projects and help the community. and. Uh, uh, sp spread the, the message of the group. So the straw bale, bale build was in collaboration with a community member and uh, us students went out uh, about 15 miles out of campus and the lady's request was to build a, a bakery out of a, 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 with a, the straw bale building technique. And so um, we had many students out, students out and had a, a beautiful time. Uh, <laughs> It was a very hands-on experience, which is good because there's a lot of learning to do. It's kind of a new field. Um, we learned a lot when one of the walls completely caved in on Kevin over there. Uh, we rebuilt it a little better the second time um, with uh, some new techniques and making sure everything's straight between uh, each course. Uh, I don't know. If it, this one's Kevin. Uh, well, we're just trying to mix a little cross-culture. We figured, you know, Iowa, and we can put together a year together. Actually, this is um, the, uh, the, the clients uh, also was doing the straw bale. was innovative enough to already have a year that we went and visited. So, you know, you don't know what you'll find in Iowa. It looks like a little spaceship. We just thought this was a nice thing we should throw in. Um, Bob. All right. All in all, hello? Yeah, okay, good. Um, all in all, I'd have to say this project, even though uh, we had to restart it after, it, it was a success and it really uh, gained the awareness of these opportunities. Not that it's a new, a new technology, but um, that new building techniques in Iowa are available uh, and all around, but um, that we're willing to experiment in different ways that can help. Uh, 
Big E, anyway. Uh, we had a, a event uh, just recently, a lot of people from architecture, uh, Minnesota came down, it was called Big E. We wanted to put humanity in the context of uh, energy. Energy is a huge issue in Iowa, it's a huge issue in the Midwest with agriculture. We had a video conference with Plenty Fisk um, from Austin, Texas, and Cameron, and it was, uh, it was a very powerful uh, presentation that we were able to, um, again, really look at the impact that, that climate change um, and the kind of preventative measures we can do in design uh, to the actually impact and improve humanitarian, uh, humanitarian issues. Um, this is uh, part of the collaboration. We actually have some community people here. We can see Troy up close and Bob and other people. So it was really a good way to have a discourse and not just simply a lecture and a presentation. Um, we visited a local organic farm. We had comp comp toilets. Um, oh, uh, time's up. Steve. Uh, a longer term project I worked on this semester was a disaster relief river barge town. Um, it's a proposed project that uses a river barge, which is our country's oldest and most efficient means of transporting goods. And um, with over 30,000 working barges in the U.S., it's a, a, a cheap and abundant um, base for a um, relief housing thing. Well, that's the last slide. <laughs> slide. Um, the residential barge is 13 units. And the idea was to uh, provide a more permanent and comfortable living arrangement. And this is the overall view, which is 40 barges, which is like a quarter of a mile long. Um, and that's the end. And it's a great project. <laughs>